Hello, and welcome to James the Lessons Express Lang, bringing you the review for Love, Death, Robots. See these three behind me? Ah, a lot of them are not safe for work. This is one of the more safe for work episodes of Love, Death, Robots. These three are hilarious, especially that one. But Love, Death, and Robots is not one show. It's 18 different episodes, each one different from the other. Each one created by someone differently. Each one created in a different style, having a different theme. Some of them will make you wonder. Some of them will make you laugh, like this one. Some of them will make you go, holy beep! It's just... And again, not safe for work. A lot of the episodes are showing nudity, blood and gore, language... It's like, it's hard to put a, like, a favorites list. Like, for me, like, these are the funniest. It was one of my favorites. I'll say top five. This, The Witness. Oh. <laughs> Multiversity. I'm not going to give anything away, but Multiversity was hilarious. I think the weirdest one was with Topher Grace in the freezer. Again, I'm not going to spoil anything, but that was the weirdest. But let's see. This one. The Witness. Multiversity. Oh, man, but they were so... The Lightspeed one. I can't remember all the names. And there's 18 episodes. And I binged all in one day. Like, I had to. I just... My lady friend saw I was like, you had to check it out. Like, I'm already planning on it. It's like, no, you have to check it out. So, all right, let's check it out. So glad I did. Holy hell. It's like, well, if I'm going to do one with Tosh like, ooh, what up on the fifth one? The Farmers with the mechs were pretty... That was pretty interesting. The Russian ones. I think the Russian one... Like, if I could turn the Russian one into a full series, these robots into a full series... The Witness, you couldn't do a full series. That that was contained in its, of itself. What else would I like to see be... The... Oh... Oh, because that'd be an interesting opening. Like, there's how the episode opens. If you had, like, hour-long episodes for the Dracula one. I mean, but there's just so many... And the multiversity was hilarious. These guys were fucking great. The ending you will not see. I like going, what's the ending for this one going to be? What's the ending for that one going to be? And trying to guess. Sometimes I can. Sometimes way off base. Because they go with such a twist that you'll never see it coming. The one I liked the least. This one would probably be. Mind you, like the one I liked the least was probably a 7 out of 10. Was a Japanese. Like. I'm going to say mid to late 1800s. The kid and his father hunt the, the Kusune demon foxes and all that. Demon cats. And then he comes across one that's like, hey, we're just trying to survive. Leave us alone. And he doesn't tell us that he saw it. It gets away. Years later, English have conquered Japan. And he goes into the city. He loves locomotion. Like He loves the trains. He starts fidgeting with gadgets. And it's an alternate universe, alternate history where, like, more steam powered steampunk, pretty much. I, mean, I don't want to spoil anything, though, but it, for me, that was the weirdest one because of a couple aesthetic choices they went with. But, but that's, that was still a 7 out of 10. This entire series is hilarious. It is thought provoking. It is just mind blowing with some of the twists, the artistic style they do for some of them. Again, like, they're not all like this. Some of them are handwritten. Some of them are live action. And, like, there's a couple of the CGI ones that, I'm like, you can count each individual beard hair. Like, you could count his hair better than you could count my beard hair. Like, it was just insane. Like, some of the, like, holy hell. Some of these graphics are amazing. It's just, ah. Uh. This is a really good series. If you guys have the chance, watch it. It's on Netflix. If you already have Netflix, you already have this. Give you some chance. Again, not safe for work, so maybe keep the kids away. Or if you live at home with your parents, don't have your parents around to watch it or see you watching this. Like, I swear, it, I know what it looks like, but I swear it's not that. <laughs> Anyways, hopefully you guys get this show a chance. And if you have, tell me in the comment section, what was your favorite episode? What episodes would you like to see be turned into a full series? Like I already said, the Russian one, the, these, 
they had like these three going around the world and all that. Like I would watch that. That'd be hilarious. Maybe better ex- uh, explanation for the farmers and the mechs. Like maybe turn that to maybe a little five parter. I mean, there's just so many great episodes. Some are so trippy and just, I cannot give this show enough praise. And hopefully if you watch it, you'll feel the same way. And as always, like, subscribe, comment down below, and have a wonderful day.